Hello, Brian. This is Tim again. I just got done watching Slam Dunk Ernest. The first time in a long time. Sorry, right, Jim Barney, Kareem Aducha Bar, and uh, Jay Brazu or Braze, or however you say this guy's name. B R A Z E A U. Brazu, I guess. Brazu, something like that. The Great Gazoo. I don't know. I don't know how you say this actor's name. Once again, yeah, directed by John Cherry. Once again, I should have figured that. He's directed all of them. But uh, to jump into this one, I'd give this film one star, one star of a possible four. This is easily the worst Ernest film out of the ones I've watched so far. Um, I'll actually like this plot better. It's more of a sillier plot, I think, than Ernest Goes to School. Even though Ernest, the plot of Ernest Goes to School was still pretty silly, too, with the whole uh, and machine that gave Ernest super intelligence. Um... I just find this this plot is more silly with the magic shoes and everything, but I actually like this plot better than the one in Ernest Goes to School because I feel like you can do you can have more fun with it and make it a little bit more charming than the last movie because of the magic shoe plot and everything. And I like the design of the shoes and everything and how they like squeak like they're talking and shit. That's funny. Um, basically, in this movie, you got Ernest who's working as a janitor with these group of guys who are basketball players, and Ernest wants to be a he wants to play basketball with the team. Um, and then one of the actors I recognize is Miguel, uh, Miguel Nunez from, uh, Juana Man, another basketball film, uh, and, and, uh, Return of the Living Dead, which is one of my favorite horror films. I like Miguel Nunez. He's not really anything here. His character isn't, he's actually kind of annoying every now and then because he just, like, rambles on all the time about how horrible Ernest is. And I'm like, fuck, man, give Ernest a break, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, he's not really that entertaining here. But I like him in almost all the other stuff I've seen him in. But, as far as the film goes, Ernest works in a mall. He's a janitor, and the rest of the guys are janitors. Uh, Ernest wants to play basketball with them. They play as a team called Clean Sweep. Um, Ernest wants to play. They're playing basketball in the mall. Ernest gets the ball. He tosses it, of course. He, like, bounces off, like, three or four different things in a really fucking, fucking stupid, zany scene. Uh, shitty comedy style scene that's like something a fifth grader would write uh, and then of course it knocks everything down but Ernest takes the blame for it and uh, says he'll pay for the damages to the mall um, it's pretty paint by numbers to be honest uh, and then of course Ernest gets to play for the team they well since he backed them up and said it was all you know him doing it that he'll well he that he did it all all the damages and he'll pay for everything. They decide to let to repay him by letting him actually be on the team. What he's like has to sit on the bench during the basketball game. And so they play the game, and he causes the team to lose, and he doesn't even play. One thing I did find was funny is his number, his basketball player number is negative zero. I thought that was hilarious. Um, and then uh, he keeps saying, why don't you put me in? Because the guy who is like the main guy of the basketball team, his character's name is Barry. Ernest is always like, why don't you put me in? And uh, he's like, well, that's okay, Ernest. I'm saving you for overtime. And uh, Jim Barney's like, well, yeah, like a coiled cobra ready to strike <laughs> or something like that. And he, Ernest like makes this, uh, Jim Barney like makes his fingers like this, like, like does a snake sound like, like he's sitting there on the bench. He's, he's doing that snake sound. And he's moving his hand around like this, and he's like, he's like, ow! Like, like it bit him, like it hurt. I thought that was funny, like what he was doing with his hand and stuff. That was mildly amusing, cutesy. I got a little laugh out of that. Jim Varney, once again, as good as Ernest, but by now, it's not Jim Varney's fault, but I mean, you know, six or seven movies in, the Ernest, you know, shtick is kind of starting to lose its luster for me. As much as I love the character, and he's such a nice, you know, character and really enjoyable to watch, six or seven movies in, you have to start coming up with some new material. By now, when Ernest does does stuff like ooh, ooh or whatever, it just, it's not as funny. You know, the charisma and enthusiasm isn't really there. It's not as entertaining. But uh, Jim Barney still does a really good job. 
So, and he's like, and you get stupid shit like uh, Ernest, like right in the middle of the game, right when they're playing, Ernest all at once like takes a picture of him. Uh, and I'm like, uh, why, why is he doing that? Doesn't he know they're actually playing? It's like, they make Ernest a little bit too stupid here to me. And like the stupid shit he does. And it's just not really funny. And they have Ernest like on the side, like doing cheerleading. He's like cheerleading for the team. Like, I thought that was a little bit mildly funny at first, but then the guy, the, one, the, the character Barry tells him to stop doing it, but then he like keeps doing it anyway. And then you get this really stupid scene where he hits this uh, big rack of balls, basketballs, and causes them to fall all, all over the court and knock everybody down. It's a foul. And um, the team they're playing against uh, gets two shots and they win. So Clean Sweep loses. And I'm like, that's so stupid. I mean, it's predictable that Ernest is going to hit this thing and uh, knock all the balls over and fuck the Clean Sweep up. And I'm like, come on. Come on with something better than that. It's like the, the writing's getting a little lazier and not as, like, talented as it was in the earlier pictures. But, um, or maybe, maybe the Ernest Stick is, just, well, the Ernest Stick is getting a little old, too, at the same time. But it's, Ernest is still really entertaining. And so, basically, all the all the basketball players on Clean Sweep are all mad at Ernest. Then Kareem Abdul-Jabbar shows up as the Archangel of Basketball, which I thought was hilarious, having Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the movie. But he's a horrible actor. His acting is absolutely terrible. Um, but he's passable. Um, it's just neat having him there. And so he's the Archangel of Basketball, and God wants Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to give Ernest magic shoes that will give Ernest the edge in playing in basketball, basically. will give him uh, superpowers so he can win at anything. So he gets the magic shoes. And then, of course... They're playing basketball again, and one of the players gets injured in a really stupid way because it looks like the guy like barely falls, and for some reason he's, he can't even walk anymore on one leg. And I'm like, okay. And so they got to play Ernest, and Ernest has the magic shoes, and you get like really silly shit with Ernest with the magic shoes. Some stuff is funny, some stuff ain't. Like when Ernest is trying to call this girl up that he likes, and the shoes are, his legs are like sticking in the air, and uh, fucking like uh, the phone is like on the other end, is like on the tip end of his feet, and his legs separate, and the phone falls down and hits him in the face. It's like the his, the, the shoes are trying to get at him because they don't want him to call this girl because they're like, they don't like her because they sense evil, I guess. <laughs> But, um, anyway, but then you get other stupid shit, like when Ernest first comes out, starts using the shoes out in, like, a playground, and he's, like, shooting the ball, um, and he, like, goes flying through the air, he hits the shot, but then he falls straight down and hits, like, the metal part of the goal, um, and it, like, fucking makes a big, like, cartoonish, he makes, like, a big cartoonish face imprint. And the big metal bar that's holding the goal up. He makes like a big cartoonish face imprint in it. And it just looks so stupid. It looks like something from a WB Warner Brothers cartoon. Once again, this film is going for the, like the zany, over-the-top cartoonish style that uh, Ernest Goes to School went for as well. And I do not like this shit. This is not appropriate for an Ernest film, I don't think. It just makes it way too childish. Um, but you got that stupid shit right there. So, of course, Ernest plays the game. He has some neat stuff where Ernest's got, like, super speed. But you get, like, this really cheesy, stupid-ass smoke effect, like, when he runs super fast. That I, that I kind of hate it after a while. But you get cool things where he, like, floats to the air and scores a goal and stuff. And that's kind of neat. And then you get other stupid shit where he's, like, writing his name on the backboard. He, like, floats in the air for, like, a couple minutes and actually has enough time to write his name on the backboard. We're supposed to laugh at this because it's so silly and ridiculous. But at the same time, I'm thinking, there's no logic here. There's no basis in reality at all. It's like, the comedy is so over the top, it's like a, more like a spoof movie instead of an earnest film. And I'm thinking, if he's playing basketball like this, where he can basically fucking fly in the air, the, the, he needs to join the friggin' X-Men. There's no talent scouts that are going to be looking at Ernest. Uh, I'm sorry, but the government scientists are probably going to be looking at Ernest, and they're probably going to take him and either put him in the program, the Firestarter program that uh, St Stephen King writes about, or whatever, or he's going, yeah, he's going to become a member of the shop from the Stephen King books, the, that that government agency from the Stephen King story of Firestarter, or he's going to be fucking uh, a member of the X Men. <laughs> well, either way, you do get some other humorous scenes where Ernest is out on a date with that girl. Uh, who he likes, but she's like an she's actually like an asshole. She's really money hungry and everything. 
and uh, Ernest is trying to get the shoes to behave because they don't like her because they know she's full of shit. And uh, he's like, if you don't behave, we're going to walk to the dog poop once again. I thought that was funny. Jim Barney, his line delivery and stuff in the film is good. He's good. He's the best part of the film by far. You got like this little short, fat demon guy. He's actually a demon who's working against Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He's like trying to corrupt Ernest and everything. Um, to uh, to get the to get this little boy in the film to think that that uh magic and stuff and just getting stuff like that and just getting like material items and stuff uh is better than actually working hard to be good at something because all through the, like the kid's life his dad has been working hard to be good at basketball so he can make it pro. Um, uh, and then Ernest just gets these magic shoes and blows all his hard work away basically. And the the demon he's basically a demon I believe. He's like trying to convince the little kid um, that the shoes is what gives Ernest the edge. He wants uh, he wants the little boy to steal the shoes. Basically, it's like all this effort just to get the little boy to to steal these shoes. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but anyway, he's <laughs> it's just all this effort. I mean, just to get this one little boy to steal shoes is basically what the demon guy is doing. I mean, I be I believe. Um, seems like an awful lot of effort just for one little kid, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, and besides, there's hundreds of ways he could he could get this kid to steal these shoes that wouldn't even involve Ernest. Um, but either way, he still wants to try to corrupt Ernest, which it, that still I still find that interesting. I still like that element that he's actually using Ernest because Ernest becomes the boy's role model. Uh, the boy is his father is the character of Barry who's the main basketball player on the clean sweep team. And I do like the idea that he's actually using Ernest, though, to corrupt this boy. That is kind of a neat idea, even though there's a hundred other ways he could get this boy to steal his shoes, I mean, honestly. But uh, I still find it interesting that that's the idea they're going with, because all through the movie, you think he's trying to corrupt Ernest, but he's actually trying to corrupt the kid. I found that interesting. I like that. Um... Anything else? Well, you got Ernest playing the game and shit, and he's, like, super good at it. And this girl, uh, like, pretends to only likes Ernest now because he's popular. He's, like, uh, the whole movie has, like, a message of materialism and shit, like how people value really expensive stuff even though they don't need it at all. Um, and, of course, in this case, it's the shoes. But Ernest puts the shoes on, he becomes super good at playing basketball, okay? He, the motherfucker can fly. So, he's... He's beating everybody. And then you get to the end, and it's about like all this hard work shit. And Ernest finally realizes that he's turned the little boy against his dad, and the little boy wants to be more like Ernest, like a big, you know, ball hog, over upset, over like obsessed with money and shit kind of guy, <laughs> like Ernest has become now. Because now Ernest is so good, he just hogs the ball and never even lets his other teammates even do anything. And, like, you get stupid shit where they're, like, just sitting in the middle of the court, just sitting there, and one of them's on a cell phone, and I'm like, you can't do that in a basketball game. I mean, come on here. You get other stupid shit where Ernest plays basketball, and, like, the ball comes flying towards him, he jerks out, like, a ping pong, uh, <laughs> like, a ping pong patter or whatever, or paddle, I mean, and it hits the basketball with it and knocks it into the goal, and I'm like, what the fuck? But, anyway... That's stupid shit. And you got other stupid shit, like cartoonish, wily coyote shit. Like Ernest runs at super speed, and all at once he stops, like in the middle of the court, and he like rattles around, like, like a really cartoony look. Like he buzzes back and forth like that, like right in the middle of the court every time he stops. And it's like a really cartoony effect, like something you would see in Son of the Mask. <laughs> once again. And I hate that shit. That was fucking horrible. But, um, anything else? By the end of the movie, uh, Ernest figures out that he's doing stuff wrong and that he's take, he's making the kid idolize him and he's been doing everything wrong. He realizes this simply because the kid just comes up to him and just tells him, just tells him uh, basically that my dad's nothing and you're everything. So I'm like, that's just it. Ernest just knows from right then and there that everything he's doing right now is wrong. And I'm like, that's way too fucking easy. That's just way too easy. I mean, honestly, does the does the character learn anything, really? I mean, <laughs> that hard work is the answer? I mean, no, not really, I don't think. It doesn't seem that way, or at least the script is not intelligent enough for it to seem that way. It's just too easy. It's like, 
you're about to blow somebody's brains out, and somebody just walks up to you and says, yo, man, you know, that's wrong. And he's like, oh, okay. Yeah, well, I've learned my lesson. I'm going home. I'm like, what the fuck ever. But anyway, so after the boy tells Ernest that, he wants to, uh, of course, do the right thing, try to help the team, and make Barry out to be a hero for his boy. So he throws the magic shoes away. Ernest goes, uh, fakes the leg injury. Um... And then he, uh, you get Barry playing, and then this this shit will bug me forever. You get Barry playing, and Barry's doing a good job, and then it gets down to like the last minute. One of the players gets uh, Miguel Nunez gets thrown out, I guess for roughhousing or whatever, uh, or a foul or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm not for sure. Uh, it's one of the other. I don't give a fuck by this point. But uh, then you got Ernest who has to come in. And then, after all that hard work that Barry's done and everything, it's supposed to be a message of hard work, does it? Barry doesn't even get to score the winning fucking shot. The character of Barry doesn't even do the winning shot. Ernest comes in at the last minute, shoots the ball after Ernest <laughs> faked an injury just to get out of the game so Barry could look good for his kid. And then Ernest comes in and scores the winning shot. <sighs> That's horrible. Horrible fucking writing. Whoever wrote this needs a kick in the nuts. But anyway, well, probably not a kick in the nuts. They probably need to somebody just to walk by with a script and just hold it up and let, just take a marker and just mark underneath. That shit, that shit. Oh, for more shit here. See, this shit don't make sense. <laughs> See, basically like that, really, because this is script is horrible. That right there is just unforgivable. I'm probably being too hard on the guy who wrote this script, but seriously, honestly, that ending right there is atrocious. And I'm like, why would the boy idolize his dad after that? Because he's idolized Ernest the whole film, and just because Ernest has been out of the game for a few minutes, <laughs> and his dad has scored a few shots, Ernest comes right back and scores the winning fucking shot! But anyway, whatever. I mean, why? I can understand that Ernest does scores the shot without using the magic shoes. I get that. So the kid would prefer hard work, but he would still, prefer, he would still like Ernest better than his dad. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> I mean, what the fuck ever. But anyway, so the kid like had stole the shoes, but he goes back and ends up returning them after seeing Ernest playing without the shoes. I like that. That was that was good. And then you get like, the, oh, you get really cheesy lines in this film, too, and stuff like that. Where, like, the dad is trying to tell him that, um, Ernest has worked hard to get where he is. Uh, hard work pays off. And you got, like, this really cheesy music playing in the background when he's, like, giving speeches to his kid. I'm like, oh, gag me with a fucking spoon. But whatever. <laughs> I like the message the movie is doing. It's a good message, but it's just per portrayed so cheesy. But you get uh, you get Jim Varney uh, in a really funny scene, though, where the demon guy first takes him out, and he's trying to corrupt him. And the girl that Ernest likes, he like, she says, listen to my heart, Ernest. And uh, he puts his head over to her chest, and it sounds like a cash register. I love that. That was neat. That was neat. That was intelligent right there. That, that was a good idea. That was an intelligent idea. That was cute and funny and neat. Um, well, I wouldn't say cute, but it was funny and neat, though. It was a good idea. Uh, and then you got Ernest like uh, mo walking down a runway, uh, modeling an outfit while he's got the magic shoes on, like he's being corrupted and shit. And you got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the crowd, and he goes, "Ernest, don't think that outfit goes with the shoes." <laughs> I like that, and also like this other part where uh, one of the guys who's a member of the Clean Sweep, he's like uh, pouring Ernest some champagne after Ernest helps him win like the first game um, after he's got the magic shoes, I believe, and. Um, He's like a fine champagne, huh, Mr. Whirl? And then uh, later on, later on in the movie, when Ernest is like getting ready to go walk down that runway and model that outfit, he gets out of the limousine right there. Is the same guy dressed up in a tuxedo, and he goes, "Ah, fine champagne, Mr. Whirl." <laughs> I love that. That 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 was funny. I like that. Um, but still, the message, like how the it's a good message in the film, but how it's portrayed is really weak. And then at the end of the film. You know, the day is saved, everything turns out good, and then you get, like, these, like, Iron scores the winning shot, right? And then it's over, and then these pro scout guys walk out, and they're like, we've always been looking for talent like yours, Mr. Barry. You're in, boy. Welcome to the NBA, motherfucker. And I'm like, okay, seriously, 
you got a guy, you got Ernest, right, who can fly and fucking float through the air and dunk baskets, and he gets his leg injured one time, and this guy scores three or four shots, and then Ernest comes back and even scores the winning shot, and you still expect me to believe that the talent scout guys are going to pick a dude who scored three shots, three or four shots the entire game, and over a dude who can fly. <laughs> I'm like, wow, because they don't know that Ernest has magic shoes. The talent scout guys don't. So why the fuck would they choose Barry over Ernest? It makes no fucking sense. I still like this idea, and I think it could be a much more fun idea than the idea from Ernest uh, goes to school. Just the idea of Ernest playing basketball and shit could be really funny. And I'm positive, like, some of the scenes where Ernest floats through the air and dunks the um, basketball, seems like they reuse that same shot two or three times. I hated that. Uh, it could almost be a drinking game, a spot where they've used that same scene again. Quit. <laughs> Take a shot. But, uh, anyway... All in all, though, this is not, like, the worst movie in existence. But judging it from the standards of the other Ernest movies and all the ones I've been through, Ernest Goes to School barely skinned by by a scrape of its teeth. And this film is just, this film is just weak. It's just weak. It's not so much bad. It's bad, bad writing execution. Bad, I mean, bad story execution. It's just really weak and almost kind of pathetic in some of the ways it uh, portrays some of the story elements. Uh, and really fucking cheesy. Uh, not good cheesy either. But it's still entertaining seeing Ernest do his thing on the basketball court and everything. And I'll be honest, with the magic shoes and everything, and Ernest doing stuff on the basketball court, even though I think that Ernest Goes to School is slightly better than this film, this film still entertained me more. So I'm going to give this film one star, uh, especially because of the end. I would have gave it at least an okay passable two stars like I did Ernest Goes to School. If it wasn't for the end, all the guys are walking out. Um, all the guys are leaving and going home. All the clean sweep team are. And they're all talking about how good the game went and everything. And then Ernest walks out and fucking. He's just. he Ernest is standing there. And he's like, oh, everything went good thanks to my fancy footwork. And you just know something's going to go wrong. And then he's like moving around all at once. He's like, oh, oh, oh. And it starts like getting ready to fall or something. You hear like a trash can noise or whatever. And it like. It, but you don't see him fall and hit the trash can or anything. Just like freeze frames on his face. So just picture me going, ah, 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 and then hearing a boom. I'm like, what? or a trash can hit sound. I'm like, what the fuck? But anyway, <laughs> this is a sh this movie sucks. I'll be honest, it sucks. It's a well, it does, it, this is a bad movie. It is. This is a bad. Movie. It's a bad movie. But it's an entertaining bad movie. See, you got movies that are shit, right? See, like Texas Chainsaw 3D. That's shit. It is. It's shit. It's not good. It's shit. Not good at all. And it's not even, it's not entertaining. It, I will admit, it is a better movie than Next Generation, just barely, but it, it's still shit. It is. It's shit. Uh, but it's so dull. It makes it inadvertently worse than Next Generation, or not so much worse, but just not as fun to watch. It's dull shit. Now, Next Generation is so stupid and so much of a worthless film, and just because of Matthew McConaughey, how over the top he is, it makes an entertaining shit. So, you know, it's like this movie. This movie is bad. It's shit. But it's entertaining shit, because Jim Varney is once again good. So, it's like you got a big pile of shit, and you got one, like, crusted diamond sitting in it. You know, like, you got Jim Varney just in the big pile of shit of, like, th of this film. And he's the diamond, you know, in the rough. He's the good thing. So, all in all, this is a one-star film. I didn't enjoy this film much at all. I found it entertaining just because it was fun to see Ernest do the basketball stuff and all that. So, I, I found it inadvertently more entertaining uh, with the magic shoe plot and everything than I did Ernest Goes to School. Even though Ernest Goes to School is a slightly better movie, but a, a stupider movie and a more dull movie, I would say. Uh, well... Not a, I wouldn't say a stupid movie, but more of a dull movie to me. Uh, this film I, I found a shit, but more entertaining shit than the last movie. So, I'll see you guys again when Ernest goes to Africa.